द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज अजमेल एंड द टाइगर्स द पोएम इज रिटन बाय द पोएट अरुण कोलाटकर द टाइगर पीपल वेंट टू देयर किंग एंड सेड वी आर स्टार्पिंग वी हैड नथिंग टू इट नॉट अ बाइट फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज एंड सिक्सटीन नाइट्स अजमेर हैज गॉट अ न्यू शिप डॉग ही क्रैम्स अवर स्टाइल and won't let us get within a mile of meat that's shocking said the tiger king why didn't you come to see me before make preparations for a banquet i'm going to teach that sheep dog a lesson he will never forget here here said the tigers careful said the queen but he was already gone alone into the darkness before the dawn in an hour he was back the good king black patch on his eye his tail in a sling and said i've got it all planned and now that i know the lie of the land all of us will have to try we will outnumber the son of a bitch and this time there will be no hitch because this time i shall be leading the attack quick as lightning the sheep dog was he took them all in as prisoners of war so the 50 tigers and the tiger king before they could get their paws on a single sheep they never had a chance the dog was 51 places all at once he strung them all out in a daisy chain and flung them in the front of his boss in one big hip nice dog you got there ajmel said the tiger king looking at ill and spitting out a tooth but there has been a little bit of misunderstanding we could have wiped out your heart in one clean sweep but we were not trying to creep up on your sheep we feel that means are more important than ends we were coming to see you as friends and that's the truth sheep dog was the, the type who had never told a lie in his life he was built along simpler lines and he was simply disgusted but he kept on making frantic signs but ajmel the good shepherd refused to meet his eyes and pretended to believe every single word of what the tiger king said and seemed to be taken in or by all the lies ajmel cut them loose and asked them to stay for dinner it was an offer tiger scorn refused and after the lamb chops and the roast when ajmel proposed to sign a long term friendship treaty all the tigers roared we couldn't agree with you more swore they would be good friends all their lives as they put down the forks and knives ajmel signed the pact with tiger people and sent them back laden with gifts of sheep with jackets and balls of wool ajmel wasn't a fool like all good shepherds he knew that even tigers have got to eat sometime a good shepherd sees to it they do he is free to play a flute all day as well as fed tigers and fat sheep drink from the same pond with a full stomach for a common bond so this poem was written was by arun kolatkar arun kolatkar was indian poet he was a contemporary indian poet uh, his work is famous in 20th century late 20th century He was educated in Pune and earned a diploma in painting from the JJ Schools of Art Mumbai. He writes both in English and Marathi and has authored two books. The present poem is excerpt from Jejuri, a long poem in 31 sections. German translation of Jejuri by Jivan Bandin was published in 1984.
द पोएम अजमेर एंड द टाइगर इज टेकन फ्रॉम द मच सेलिब्रेटेड कलेक्शन ऑफ पोएम्स इन जजूर बाय अर्जुन कोलाटकर द कलेक्शन इज नेम्ड आफ्टर अ रिलीजियस प्लेस द पोएम हैज अ लिटरल एंड फिगरेटिव लेवल द पोएट चूज इज टाइगर्स एंड शीप टू एक्सप्रेस द पॉलिटिकल फेसेट ऑफ ह्यूमन्स अ पॉलिटिकल सेटायर अजमेर एंड द टाइगर्स इज अ शॉर्ट नैरेटिव in which shepherd made a concord with the king of tigers to maintain peace between two communities however if one tries to gauge there is more to it than just a jungle story it speaks of the distinction between proprietor and the proletariat it is about the class struggle and oppressor and the oppressed the shepherd is the politician the ruler as depicted in the poem and the other sheep are subjects the sheep dog is the warrior to protect sheep however the shepherd wants to maintain his sovereignty so sacrifices a few sheep to maintain a cordial relation with tigers he goes on signing the pact the poet has tried to portray the how rulers sacrifice their people to make the regime this is uh, depicts very well with the modern day situation where politician are which sacrifice good people just to gain some money so this uh this poem has exercise which there are few questions so i will read one question and answer them one by one first question the poem has a literal level and figurative level why has the poet chosen tigers and sheep to convey this message answer though literally the poem talks of a short story in which Shepherd made a concord with the king of tigers to maintain peace among the two communities however if one tries to gauge there is more to it than a jungle story it speaks of the distinct between the proprietor and the proletariat proletariat it is about the class struggle and the oppressor and the oppressed reason they have chosen the tiger represent the opposition and the sheep represents his own people so to maintain his power the politician always sacrifice the poor people on which they command so here the sheep describes them the poor people which are commanded by uh, the politician or a leader and tigers are the opposition or an you call can call it as enemy to which to we uh, to which the concord is uh, take place and to bridge them uh, leader has to sacrifice own people so that is the reason poet has chosen tigers and sheep to convey his message question second what facet of political life does the behavior of ajamil in illustrate the poem ajamil and tigers is a political satire by arun kolatkar ajamil and the tigers represent corrupt politicians and oppressed subjects the sheep represents the mass the mob the sheep dog is in the incarnation of the army it is to be seen how the commoner sheep sheep dog are annihilated by the lurers a jamil how their sentiments are overlooked the poet has beautifully retold the fantastic story of a jamil the believed to be good shepherd which he possibly heard in jejuri when the tigers are captured by the brave sheep dog a jamil lets them loose despite being warned by the dog to show his prominence 
he did not listen to sheep dog and did not even make eye contact with him rather he offered gala fish to the tigers and gave them gifts like sheep meat skin and wool the audacious warriors are paid no heed and the subjects are sacrificed for ajamil wanted to maintain his supremacy question 3 why have words pretended and seemed used in lying the lines uh, pretended to believe every single word of what tiger king said and seemed to be taken by all the lines how does the sense of the line correct with the line ajamel wasn't fool ajamel good shepherd was not a fool the tiger king requested him to set all tigers free the sheep dog tried to convince ajamel that the tiger had come to him to offer friendly hand ajamel do agreed to him and cut them all loose and even offered them a feast and signed a pact and to sign a pact up with the king of tigers and they were the friends henceforth ajamel was fine politician and did not want to mess up with the fact and believed it is best to maintain cordial relation with them so though he knew inside that today or tomorrow tigers will attack the sheep again he pretended that he believed all what the king told him and accepted the friendship offered by tiger he portrayed it so well that ajmel seemed taken in by all the lies of the tiger but in heart he knew that they will return to hunt so he felt it better to sacrifice few sheep every time rather than losing them all in a possible fierce battle where he might lose his reign absolutely it is also little disheartening his lack of confidence in his sheep dog however he played it safe and avoided the risk that was hovering over his kingdom question 4 why did ajmel refuse to meet sheep dog's eyes when ajmel accepted the tiger king's offer of friendship the sheep dog realized the hidden intentions and tried to convey him Do not agree. The sheep dog was never simple one who told a lie. He made frantic signs to signal a jamel. The sheep herd, however, refused to meet the dog's eye and went on signing the pact and offered tigers to stay for dinner. A jamel was a jamel was a safe safe player. He took calculated risk. He was a mature politician, not to mess with, would do anything. to maintain his supremacy he is respected by displaying his lack of confidence in his sheep dog rather went on signing a treaty while he could have challenged a fierce battle however he tried to sort it out by sacrificing few of the sheep and not messing with the ferocious lot the incident shows how the executive one of the pillars of democracy is at the mercy of the legislator it was not jingoism jingoism that saved his regime but by shrewd politics question 5 he is free to play a flute all day as well as fat tigers and fat sheep drink from a same pond with full stomach for common bond what do these phrases play the fool all day and a common bond refer to it is so that the leaders relish their living at the cost of their subjects so did ajamil who was good shepherd on exterior but shrewd politician inside his each and every move was a calculated one 
he signed a pact which was impossible to maintain forever though it was to be so it was obvious once hunting when she would take over tigers they will attack sheep again however ajamil did not mind losing few lot soldiers less than waging war and lose all his sheep in one go he did not he did what smart shepherd does to protect all to sacrifice few so he can sit back and relax by playing flute all day long he did good to both species he fed tigers and saved the sheep as well jungle raj everything is defined in thing alone survival of the fittest and the another fact that no matter how strong or weak animal is they all drink water from the same pond we all survive together and not from common good ajamil did what he could question 6 the poem is a satire against present political class how effectively does it convey the anger and anguish of the common man trapped in the system well this poem as you can see revolves around the idea that most of the politicians are corrupt and they will sacrifice anyone to keep their regime or rule now that means they will sacrifice their own subject to impress their enemies to be safe to maintain their positions and it doesn't matter to them whatever happens to their loyal subjects who in turn expect some gratitude so as karl marx said the history of all hitherto existing societies history of class struggles the clash between proprietor and proletariat is a natural and inevitable the oppressor and oppressed will always be a class part so in this poem the shepherd represents as an oppressor and the sheep dog is oppressed it doesn't seem like that uh, by reading the poem but uh, that's what it represents so sheep dog fights all the battles of the shepherd and shepherd does nothing but uh, sacrifice his own sheep his own subjects just to save his position he concluded with enemy just to save his position but in turn he sacrifices his people so there was a no nothing for him uh, there was there was uh, any there wasn't anything he could do to maintain his position except this so he uh, sacrificed his own people the op- a- a- uh, according to karl marx a commoner who has no say is a sandwich between political groups the mob struggles however it is futile war against powerful who sacrifice the subjects to gain power and play, play petty politics in the poem between two groups this uh, shepherd exploited the commoners sheep even though the social forces seek sheep dog try to stop it all on the name of common good the leader is always the working peoples are always sacrifice the same happens in democracy the working peoples are is being sacrifice they cannot raise voice against the powerful and simply have to obey their laws laid down by the dogmatic authorities power less people get preyed upon by the powerful people so this was the motive of the poem to tell us that the politicians or the leaders always sacrifice their own people to maintain their position so this is just part of corruption you can say so this was the poem this poem was written by arun kolatkar he was an indian poet he named this poem uh, from his book jejhori which is related to a sacrilegious place in maharashtra